a lot of emphasis has been given to things like tidal energy, solar energy, and these are great. These are renewable sources. They will last for a long time. What they lack is reliability. So the wind doesn't always blow. The sun doesn't always shine. Building something like a fusion device, which can provide that bulk level of background electricity, is what we're really aiming at. So fusion is the holy grail of energy and power generation. It's the process that powers the sun. And uh, basically what is happening is that two atoms of hydrogen are being uh, combined together, fused under very high temperatures and pressures. And as a byproduct, you get a large amount of energy. We can leverage that energy to power something like a turbine, and then we can use that as an energy source. So we're usually thinking in terms of light, hydrogen isotopes. These are very abundant in nature. So that means that it's a potentially clean and sustainable energy source. There are many challenges that we need to face head on in order to achieve commercial fusion energy. One of the challenges is that we've got to try and do it in a very short amount of time to try and get prototype power plants onto the grid in the early 2040s. Commercial fusion is a grand challenge. It's a, it's a massively difficult problem to solve and it's a global problem that we're trying to solve internationally. That includes partners from Europe, from America and even from within the UK, from academic partners such as the Hartree Centre to industrial partners. Fusion Computing Lab is a collaboration between UK and the Hartree Centre with the aim to bring uh, fusion to the grid in the 2040s. The UK has deep skills in physics uh, that is connected to nuclear fusion, also maths and computing skills, while Hartree brings high performance computing, artificial intelligence and machine learning skills combined together that allow us to efficiently model and simulate fusion reactions that happen in the tokamak. Tokamak is basically a magnetic fusion confinement chamber where basically you have these uh, magnetic fields which rotate around your uh, kind of donut shape and they maintain the plasma within a certain distance from the walls. And then you can bring the plasma very high temperatures and then you can get the fusion. So the ultimate aim of this collaboration between the Hartree Centre and the UK Atomic Energy Authority is to build what we call a digital twin of a nuclear fusion reactor. So far, whenever you want to learn something new about nuclear fusion, you build a new machine because that helps you test directly the tricky physics that goes on into the reactor. What we want to do now is to replace that with a nuclear reactor that lives in a supercomputer. So whenever you make a slight change to the design of the machine, you know immediately what is going to happen inside it once you build it. It's, a, it's an incredibly exciting opportunity to bring different skills from around the UK together uh, where the sum is going to be greater than the parts in isolation. Um, and working together, the hope is that we'll be able to push that capability out into our supply chain and partners as well. This isn't just for Hartree Centre and UKEA, it's for the whole of UK fusion research in the long term. This is a very exciting moment because there's a lot of development and design being made on several fusion machines. And the Fusion Computing Lab is building the fundamental techniques in supercomputing and artificial intelligence that help us design the machines of the future and that will bring nuclear fusion energy to our homes. Fusion is an important part of carbon neutrality. It will become an essential part of our energy makeup going into the future.